Bite-sized Pop-Tarts. Do I need to get a bite-sized toaster for these? Does anybody really toast their Pop-Tarts anymore? So the fine folks over at Kellogg's, the people who make Pop-Tarts thought, you know, Pop-Tarts, a little too big, a little, little too unwieldy. Maybe they were thinking about people with small hands, children's, uh, hobbits, etc. They were thinking that, you know, let's make Pop-Tart Bites, a, a portable version of Pop-Tarts. We're gonna charge you the same amount as we would a regular two pack of Pop-Tarts, make them bite size and put less ounces in the bag, which is what they did here. And I think most of them are broken in this bag, which, I don't know about you, whenever I get a Pop-Tart out of a vending machine or a box or wherever you get Pop-Tarts from, I always hate when they are not the whole Pop-Tart. I like having the whole Pop-Tart in one eating motion, and I also never toast a Pop-Tart. I've frozen a Pop-Tart before. That's a nice tasty treat that they recommend on the back of the box. But that's not what these are. These are Pop-Tart Bites brown sugar, fro I'm sorry, I misspoke, frosted brown sugar, which makes a difference because they do have like a regular brown sugar Pop-Tart for, for monsters. So I'm gonna open these up here and they smell like traditional frosted Pop-Tarts. They have that, I guess brown sugar kind of always has like a maple scent to me, which is kind of interesting. And oh, <laughs> this is just a bag full of crumbs and nightmares. It is just one of the worst things that I've ever seen because like the inside of these, it's like a, it, it, these were in a shopping bag. It's not like they were anywhere, like they weren't in my pocket. I didn't leave them underneath my car tire and run over them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe I'll do that now, maybe it'll make it. If I do that, I'll, I'll put these under my tire, run them over with my car and it'll make a real Pop-Tart. Modern solutions. So I'm gonna take one out without making a complete mess and they just look like an abomination. They. They, they took little chunklets of Pop-Tart and, and threw some sugar and some icing on top of them. There's no, they don't even look like mini Pop-Tarts. If they kind of had that mini Pop-Tart vibe, maybe look like a ravioli with the, the icing on top of it and, and had the, the same spacing that a Pop-Tart has with the, the icing in the middle and the border around the outside, that would be cool. But it's literally just a, a nugget with some crap on top and, It's not bad, it's, it's, you know, it has a decent amount of filling in it, like a normal amount of filling that a Pop-Tart would have. The flavor's there. It's definitely a, a flavor blast of Pop-Tart in your mouth, and everyone loves to be blasted by a Pop-Tart in your mouth. You know, they're good for what they are. The more I eat it, the more I, I do kind of like it. I don't know if this form factor is the way to go, like in this little bag, maybe having them in like a box, like a, like a thing of cookies, like, you know, you go in and grab a few, but I feel like you would overindulge and overeat with something this small because like a Pop-Tart, I think two Pop-Tarts is two servings when you get them in the individual packages. So most people eat that as one serving where I feel like you making something bite-sized individual, you get the issue of eating way too many Pop-Tarts and eating way too many items, you know, I was a little fearful that this would be too much of a dough and less about the filling, but they did something really magical here and really right by covering it all in icing. So you get an icing filling treat in every bite. They're honestly not that bad. I thought they were going to be much worse. I would really like these as a cereal. You take a few of these, you put them in a bowl with some milk on them. That would be amazing and also would probably kill me instantly as for there I am, a diabetic, right? Right. Pop-Tarts Bites, um, I got these a while ago, so I don't know if they're still on the market. They are a good idea. They are something cool to put in a kid's lunchbox. It, maybe it is less of the amount of Pop-Tart than you would get with a regular amount of Pop-Tarts. Um, I'm not gonna give these a high score because I like Pop-Tarts that much. Pop-Tarts Bites Cinnamon Brown Sugar or Brown Sugar Frosted Cinnamon. God, I'm on the fence between a three and a four on these just because they do pack more of a flavor punch than you normally do with every bite of a Pop-Tart. 
I'm gonna give these right in the middle. I'm gonna give these a three out of five stars on the Snackometer, um, something that I will create for this episode and forget ever existed ever again. But I give these a three out of five because they do have the flavor. They do have, they don't have as much dough or pastry that a regular Pop-Tart would have. And they are a two bite treat. Sure, you can probably throw one of these in your mouth like I probably would have. Um, but the only downsides that I wouldn't give, like the only negative thing holding me back from a four is the form factor in packaging, that they are breakable. That is, it's mostly crumbs in here and it's mostly bits and pieces which aren't gonna get fully eaten. Or if you're eating these in your lunch or on a road trip or wherever you're eating these, they will make a mess because it is, it, it, it's crumbly, it, it's, it's gross, it's, you know, they already made the perfect form factor, which is the original Pop-Tart. So let me know in the comments below, do you think the Bites version of a Pop-Tart is the way to go, or do you prefer the full-size Pop-Tart? And until next time, my name's Ivan Han, the snack guy. Go enjoy a snack.